What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet. What is done cannot be undone, but one can prevent it happening again. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. People are just people, and all people have faults and shortcomings, but all of us are born with a basic goodness. Our lives are fashioned by our choices. First we make our choices. Then our choices make us. Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because the regret is stronger than gratitude. You can always give something, even if it is only kindness. Look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. I believe in the sun, even when it rains. In spite of everything I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply can't build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness, I hear the ever-approaching thunder, which will destroy us too, I can feel the sufferings of millions and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think that it will all come right, that this cruelty too will end, and that peace and tranquility will return again. Think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. Where there's hope, there's life. It fills us with fresh courage and makes us strong again. We can't control our destiny, but we can control who we become. You can always always give something, even if it's a simple act of kindness. If everyone were to give in this way and didn't scrimp on kindly words, there would be much more love and justice in the world. In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. The only way to truly know a person is to argue with them. For when they argue in full swing, then they reveal their true character. Everyone has inside of him a piece of good news. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be. How much you can love. What you can accomplish and what your potential is. How wonderful it is that no one has to wait but can start right now to gradually change the world. People who give will never be poor. I wish to go on living even after my death. Parents can only advise their children or point them in the right direction. Ultimately people shape their own characters. The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely, or unhappy is to go outside. Laziness may appear attractive, but work gives satisfaction. I firmly believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. No one has ever become poor by giving. I found that there is always some beauty left in nature, sunshine, freedom, in yourself, these can all help you. The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely, or unhappy is to go outside, somewhere where they can be quiet, alone with the heavens, nature, and God. Because only then does one feel that all is as it should be. Live with the objective of being happy. Don't believe the war is simply the work of politicians and capitalists. Oh no, the common man is every bit as guilty, otherwise, people and nations would have rebelled long ago. There's a destructive urge in people, the urge to rage, murder and kill. And until all of humanity, without exception, undergoes a metamorphosis, wars will continue to be waged, and everything that has been carefully built up, cultivated and grown will be cut down and destroyed, only to start all over again. Whoever is happy will make others happy. I looked up in the sky and trusted in God. 
Despite everything, I believe that people are really good at heart. Where there is hope, there is life. There's one golden rule to keep before you, laugh about everything and don't bother yourself about the others. Those who have courage and faith shall never perish in misery. I can shake off everything as I write, my sorrows disappear, my courage is reborn. How noble and good everyone could be if, every evening before falling asleep, they were to recall to their minds the events of the whole day and consider exactly what has been good and bad. Then without realizing it, you try to improve yourself at the start of each new day. I think a lot, but I don't say much. Given you shall receive, much more that you ever thought possible. Give and give again. People who give will never be poor. You can be lonely even when you are loved by many people since you are still not anybody's one and only. A person who's happy will make others happy. A person who has courage and faith will never die in misery. I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. My advice is, go outside, to the fields, enjoy nature and the sunshine, go out and try to recapture happiness in yourself and in God. Think of all the beauty that's still left in and around you and be happy. I want friends, not admirers. People who respect me for my character and my deeds, not my flattering smile. The circle around me would be much smaller, but what does that matter, as long as they're sincere? We're all alive, but we don't know why or what for, we're all searching for happiness, we're all leading lives which are different and yet the same. The question is very understandable, but no one has found a satisfactory answer to it so far. Yes, why do they make still more gigantic planes, still heavier bombs and, at the same time, prefabricated houses for reconstruction? Why should millions be spent daily on the war and yet there's not a penny available for medical services, artists, or for poor people? Why do some people have to starve, while there are surpluses rotting in other parts of the world? Oh, why are people so crazy? Writing in a diary is a really strange experience for someone like me. Not only because I've never written anything before, but also because it seems to me that later on neither I nor anyone else will be interested in the musings of a 13-year-old schoolgirl. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I feel like writing. A quiet conscience makes one strong. How wonderful it is that we can start doing good at this very moment. Riches, prestige, everything can be lost. But the happiness in your heart can only be dimmed, it will always be there as long as you live, to make you happy again. Whenever you're feeling lonely or sad, try going to the loft on a beautiful day and looking outside. Not at the houses and the rooftops, but at the sky. As long as you can look fearlessly at the sky, you'll know that you're pure within and will find happiness once more. And you can always, always, give kindness. How lovely to think that no one need wait a moment, we can start now, start slowly changing the world. How lovely that everyone, great and small, can make their contribution toward introducing justice straight away. And you can always, always give something, even if it is only kindness. I love you, with a love so great that it simply couldn't keep growing inside my heart but had to leap out and reveal itself in all its magnitude. I love the time I spend with you. You make my living worthwhile. Why didn't I meet you before? I wish I could start my life from the beginning with you because the time I spend with you is never enough. I need you more every day. I don't think of all the misery but of the beauty that still remains. Why should some people have such a hard time during their few years on this earth? Parents can only give good advice or put them on the right paths, 
that the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. I know what I want, I have a goal, an opinion, I have a religion and love. Let me be myself and then I am satisfied. I know that I'm a woman, a woman with inward strength and plenty of courage. We all live with the objective of being happy, our lives are all different and yet the same. I want to go on living even after my death. And therefore I am grateful to God for this gift, this possibility of developing myself and of writing, of expressing all that is in me. I can shake off everything if I write, my sorrows disappear, my courage is reborn. But, and that is the great question, will I ever be able to write anything great? Will I ever become a journalist or a writer? Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.